Carlos Coy, the manipulative rap icon. Before being locked up, Carlos Coy also known as the South Park Mexica, built his music empire by exploiting his closest friends, promising them fame while withholding royalties and leaving them unpaid. He used manipulation to rise to the top, taking advantage of those around him. After being locked up and convicted of raping a minor, Coy's friends and family struggled to defend him. Despite the charges, he still tries to control them from prison, underpaying those running his label and using prison tactics and mind games to keep them loyal. Coy hasn't changed even behind bars, he continues to manipulate and exploit everyone for his own benefit. His family has been exposing the truth before he is eligible for parole. You decided to try and play me and steal my album from me. Like, let's call a spade for a spade. You tried to do that to me. And what did Lopez have to do? Figure it the fuck out. The way she always has. The way she always has had to. I had to figure it the fuck out. I had to figure it the fuck out. And anybody at the dope house is expendable. They're like, the man needs help. He ultimately realized Lopez is not somebody that you can control or play or or try and woo woo woo. So he's like, damn, the best way that I can deal with that situation is by getting rid of her. So what? It's no longer safe at the dope house. Da 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 da. But you still want me to go and work at the dope house. You still want me to go and record at the dope house. You still want me and go and write, you know, music and, and all these songs at the dope house, but it's not safe? Which is it? You get what I'm saying? Which is it? It's toppling. You get what I'm saying? The powers that have reigned supreme are toppling because it's not right how they do and how they treat people. It's toppling. They gossiping. Topic of the topic in. Still the hardest rapper like a hurricane I'm barreling. Like dead ass. And I feel like because I am the fucking hardest female rapper coming out of Houston, Texas. Because I am the hardest fucking Latina standing on business coming out of Houston, Texas. I feel like SPM, Dope House, whoever, whoever's pulling the strings over there, I feel like they were like, we need to sit this bitch down. We need to sit her down. And we need to bench her. Because at the end of the day, it's about egos. It's about egos. Me being better than a Carlos Coy is not acceptable in his realm, in his mentality. The dope house being ran by a woman is not something that he is easily accepting. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, all the mental and emotional abuse that I went through dealing with the dope house, the only thing that came from it was me being stronger and me, being, and me getting my album. Because at the end of the day, Manic Media, Sambo, whoever, whoever the fuck tried to fucking play me, whoever tried to sit here and play me for real, whoever tried to sit here and steal from Lopez, they have to answer to God for that, not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, they say, I'm not safe at Dope House. Lopez is not safe at Dope House. Well, guess what? I'm prayed up. <laughs> I'm blessed up by the best. I don't, I don't just say that just to make the people around me feel better. I believe that. I truly believe that. I am blessed by the best and always have been. And anyone who comes and tries to negate that or hurt that or sit here and shit all over that cannot. They can't. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when they try and shove all these fear tactics down your throat and try and tell you, you know, you should be scared. Or da -da -da -da. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm blessed. I am blessed by the best. And I never been scared of nothing. Why? Because I stand in my truth. Anybody that's scared has something to hide. And that's why some of these... Some of, the, <laughs> uh, uh, 
some of these motherfuckers have yet to try and even have a conversation with Lopez. Because they know I'm going to read them for filth and I'm going to call them on the bullshit. And what hurts me the most is that I wear my heart on my sleeve and I genuinely want my people to succeed. And for me to even think that you were my people and then you do what you did to me, you, you, you connive and you deceive. It's, it's so much harder for Lopez. Like, it's so much harder. Like, I wanna be the love and the light that the world needs but people really try and bring the mal out. People, pre- people really sit here and disrespect everything that I've built, everything that I've tried so hard to work for, you know? And a lot of people that I'm around, my peers, they don't deserve that. They don't deserve having to pick a side or whatever. But at the end of the day, actions come with consequences. It doesn't matter what your actions are. Your actions come with consequences.